Welcome back to Relaxing Reality, and today we are heading to Elysburg, Pennsylvania, home of Knobles, America's largest free admission theme park. It's our first time going as a family, first time we've ever been there, and we're going to be checking out two amazing dark rides, the Haunted Mansion, which is celebrating its 51st year this year, and Black Diamond. They also are home to world-class wooden roller coasters, and we're going to check out some of the food. And it, it was voted 19 times as best park food in the world. Have a great time. It is overcast, slightly rainy. Hey, parkour! Parkour! We're going to see how busy it is. It is May 4th, 2024 at time of recording this, and we invite you to join us on this fun family adventure to Knobles Amusement Park in we're excited to have you with us. Here we go! Woo! All right, we're excited to go. First time. Yeah, we've never been. And, and it's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. I don't think that actually means anything at Knobles, but I like Star Wars Day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm most excited about is going to a brand new theme park that we've never been to we've heard so many amazing things about this place and it's going to be a lot of fun just checking it out and seeing how busy it is this time of year it's springtime it, it is a saturday but it is a little bit rainy Drizzly, cold from saturday, our experience. so usually that's a good time to go and before we enter the park we did stop by the local wise grocery store they are offering 20 dollar ticket voucher books for 17 dollars a piece and we got five of those so instead of it costing a hundred dollars we got it for 85 and knobles even though it's a free admission park you do have to pay for each attraction and they do sell these ticket books uh, at the park but you can also go to the wise grocery store save some money I already hear people screaming. <laughs> we made it. We're here. Free parking, free admission. Only thing you have to pay for is the attractions and the food if you want that. We're just making our way over to the shuttle. <laughs> Wearing a GoPro because you can actually film on attractions here. You have to stop by guest services and get yourself a pass. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. get a size of the map it's a uh, fairly decent size you got the phoenix up here and the twister the two world-class wooden roller coasters and then we're also going to check out the dark rides that are here you got the haunted mansion and black diamond Dude, this thing is it's a big park we just scan in those vouchers and they give you literally a bucket a booklet of tickets yep. are those free tickets no they're not free. they're not free you had to pay for them, paid for them at Wise. but now we got $85 yeah. worth of tickets well $100 we worth got $100 of tickets for $85 for, yeah. yeah math tickets for rides? you also stop by guest services and you let them know hey check out my equipment you do need to have a special uh, harness chest harness for filming the rides but they'll give you this permit pass and allow you to Bring your camera on uh, some of the thrill rides here, which is uh, going to be unique. Chest harness, just your regular GoPro chest harness. It has to buckle and it has to have a mechanical attachment there to the camera. So, so pretty. You have a river literally going right through the park here. <laughs> Knobles has been open since 1926, celebrating its 98th year, and it's family owned. Our first stop though is gonna be getting some french fries. Knobles is known for its amazing food, including the french fries. We're gonna check that out right now. There they are, the famous french fries, just like the sign says, and I have to tell you, they're really tasty. The loaf. It's a building shaped like a loaf of bread. This 
ride looks pretty crazy. It goes straight up and then goes a bunch of loops. It's like mini Fahrenheit. It is like a mini Fahrenheit from Hershey Park. Yeah, look at that. All right, we're getting ready to go on the Impulse. Look at this thing. This thing looks pretty menacing. 450. Here we go. Now, this thing's pretty crazy. Incredible, my wow. wow, dude. I didn't feel a drop. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. A little uh, starter ride. Yeah, just, just a little drop. Just a little. That's a fun ride. Yeah. Woo. So what did you think about the impulse? That was actually pretty good. I didn't even I know this. I keep my head still. I didn't even know this ride existed. I was like, oh, that looks interesting. We should go on it. It was nine tickets for the both of us combined. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty steep uh, drop. And then you do a bunch of turns that scrambles your brain. Eh, not really.
All right, the rain is coming down. We are gonna go make our way to an inside attraction and do one of the dark rides, the Haunted Mansion. So excited about this. First time riding it. I'm gonna capture this in 360. And also on my phone, we're gonna get a lot of good footage here. And before we take you in, just a little quick warning, there will be some light strobes, maybe some scary stuff popping out. This is your warning. And a reminder not to smoke on the ride, or you'll turn into that guy right there. This ride can be scary. You guys look fun. I look like I'm like Howie. It was loud, dude. I look so angry. <laughs> I mean, that's the spot where it made me jump. Yeah, you're like. <laughs> yeah, I, I look like I'm paying attention. Look at that. All right, as someone that doesn't like scary things, how scary was that? I mean, it wasn't like scary, but it definitely made you jump because it was like. Bah! Yeah, they had like bolt, like it would like horns going off in your eardrum. It, it would warn you when there's a jump scare, but like it right at the jump scare. Classing a horn at you. Yeah. It was 
I don't know. That was such an awesome experience. A little dark ride. 51 years old. Hard to believe it's been in operation for a long time. And uh, I had a good time. I enjoyed it. The Haunted Mansion, not like the Disney World Haunted Mansion, but it definitely a old school Haunted Mansion, dark ride, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, one of the best ones that you can get on. So. But it is worth noting that if you buy the all-day ride pass, it doesn't apply for this. So you would need to buy separate tickets for $350. And I recorded this in 360, so I'm going to link that to this video once it's uploaded. So you'll get to experience this ride in 360. So there It's kind of like Ghost Blasters, like in Niagara Falls, but without the blasting. We have a little photo booth over here as you walk out. What is that, the, the Vomitron or something? He Like, he just puke? You, would you go on that? No. <laughs> I would never go on that. You can pay me to go on one of these rides. And if you're willing to get a little wet on a day when it's raining, it's not too bad to come to Knoebels. Just like any other theme park, the rain kind of drives people away. So the lines haven't been really that bad at all. We've been able to walk right on every, anything we wanted to go on so far. All right, making our way to the second dark ride of this park, Black Diamond. It is technically a roller coaster, although it only goes about 12 miles per hour. But it is uh, another famous ride here. You got $4 to get in to the attraction. We're going to go check it out. Mommy distributing the tickets so we can get on this ride. Somebody's got to be in charge. <laughs> Keeping this us all in line. This one is $4 person yeah Shoot. and you're gonna go on this the black diamond it's not really that scary it's literally just a mine again there's gonna be some strobe lights so if you're sensitive to that you may want to skip ahead you must be that tall to ride Here we go.
The Black Diamond. That was an amazing dark ride. Very impressive. I, I mean, I don't know what element was my favorite. It was, I mean, it was. I got lost in that thing. That was really cool. I liked the water, where it looks like you were gonna go through a waterfall, but then it stopped. It was a lot of fun. What was your favorite part, bud? Um, I just liked the feeling. Yeah. Because now, it's actually themed off of a real thing. Yeah, Centralia, Pennsylvania, it's a mine that's burning still. And they they expect like it to burn mine. for the next 250 years. It's a coal mine burning underground. So that was kind of neat. They kind of had a little plug-in on the rack. It's actually what like it's it? based yeah. off of. I liked it. The drop, you can't even like feel the drops. It's so slow. And as someone that doesn't like drops, that's not too bad, right? <laughs> yeah. thing about these antique cars is there's a cover roof on top of them so even though it's raining we should stay a little bit dry I want to get on the Phoenix today it is definitely steady rain but it'll probably be the last ride we do even if it rains we'll go on it it'll be a wet wet ride but we'll, we'll do it
love how you go underneath the Phoenix and go all around it. That's so cool. Dude, yeah. Winner of the Golden Ticket Award for Best Wooden Coaster by Amusement Today, the Phoenix. And it is like pouring rain right now. We're going to get squished and I'm going to be soaking wet. Yeah. It's going to be like going through a a, uh, a washing machine. Yeah. Let's do it. In we All right. We're going to we're going to ride this thing. It's going to get we're going to get soaked. I'm going to record it with the GoPro cuz I got the permission and it's going to be completely soaking wet. So I apologize in advance if this is the worst POV you've ever seen. Ready to go on this thing, the Phoenix? Yeah. Some say the best wooden roller coaster in the world. I think there's a lot of airtime drops, so we're gonna be going up and down, up and down. It's gonna be a lot That's of fun. The only thing I don't like about roller coaster airtime drops. And there's like 20 of them. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep, there we go. These are comfortable. Yep. Shaking all over the place, that's for sure. Yep. Yes. <laughs> it's a buzz bar. <laughs> I hit the buzz bar. So good. I came out of my seat like 10 times. That was insane. I can see why it's the best wooden roller coaster. My GoPro head. failed me. It just shut off at the top of the hill. So, it's no, like, no, no POV. No POV. Oh man, that was fun though. A lot of fun. Next time we're here, which will probably be soon. We'll ride all the, the coasters. I want to get on the Twister as well as uh, I want to ride the Phoenix again. What is this thing called? A tiger tail. A tiger tail? It looks like a, it almost looks like fried dough with cinnamon and I think chocolate. I think cinnamon sugar drizzled with chocolate. Cinnamon sugar drizzled with chocolate. It was about like. It was, yeah, it came out to here, right? Beautiful. All right, it is a fried donut stick. Look at this thing. Oh my goodness, that's so good. This is like fried dough with a bunch of cinnamon sugar and drizzled with chocolate. It's very messy. And that's another one I want to ride next time we're here is the flying turns. I'm not even sure if it's riding right now in the rain. But we'll get we'll get a photo pass again and uh, get you all some cool POVs. Oh, it is riding. Look at that. I guess if you want to get soaked, you can go ride flying turns. Clowning around is fun. This is nuts. You got some flood lines here. You got 2004, the, the river came up to here. And look at 2011, there was a flood that came all the way up to here. Okay, look, I it's would like almost as tall as you. To, I would just be able to, I would just barely be able to breathe. Wow. That's good. <laughs> That's insane. And then they put a fresh piece of wood here every year to write your name on it. All right, heading over to the Alamo here. Golden Ticket Award for Best Food. And it, it was voted 19 times as best park food in the world. Look at that. I mean, these prices are pretty convenient I mean look at this some burgers for $9.75 hey you can get a roast turkey 
Oh my gosh, chicken and waffles. In addition to the mashed potatoes. It's like, like a diner. It's nice. I have to say, this is a very clean restaurant. Very nice. Very quiet. I feel like you're in a diner. You don't feel like you're in a theme park right here. And it's got a little western theme. They got like western. It's really called the yeah. Alley. Yeah, that makes sense. And I got myself the fried chicken dinner plate. And we got a burger. I just changed the conversation. Talking about serious stuff. And I'm just like, Black Diamond was amazing. <laughs> Right at me too. Like I was having a conversation with mom, and you look at me like Black Diamond was really fun. <laughs> You're like, okay, that's where my brain is at. <laughs> I mean, I can't get over how awesome those dark rides were. And Black Diamond is a relatively newer ride. Um, Haunted Mansion's been open for a long time. I just enjoyed the atmosphere. It felt really, uh, I don't know. I was, I was impressed. Color me impressed. Oh, it's a lot of chicken there. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that. Wow. Dude, you got a burger. Decent sized burger. Nice. You got, you're splitting the chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. Is that applesauce in the middle there? Yeah. Wow. Dude, look at this. Like a boat of gravy. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah, they really got a whole onion on there. Right now. It came with mash, mashed potatoes and they call it bread filling, which is stuffing. You said I can take your gravy? Yeah. That is a boat of gravy. Look at that. I'm, I'm stealing some of that. Well, that was a lot of food. I'm actually impressed with how much proportions they give you. Like, we easily could have, you guys split, essentially split a meal. Me and David probably could have split the chicken because they gave me four big pieces of chicken. I couldn't even finish my sides. I, I ate that, I ate almost that whole thing. I yeah. devoured you a burger. You scarfed that burger like down, thick. yeah. Like, the patty was this thick. What do you think in your burger ranking? Um, is it up it's there? Like, it, it's up there. It's it, it's compared like, to any theme park. It's tied. Any it's, theme park burger you've ever had? I don't think I've ever had any theme park burgers. We well, oh, had one la at Hershey Park last last year. But is it the best burger you've ever had it's, at a theme park? A uh, theme park, yes. It's up there. It's like in with my Niagara Falls ranking burger. Um, it's up there with about. Skyline Tower. It's oh. tied for a second. What's Skyline Tower? Oh, the, the big tower in Niagara Falls? Yeah. yeah. You should remember that. How was your chicken and waffles with mashed potatoes and gravy? It was really good. So the mashed potatoes were like really good. And then some, you can get a side of applesauce and it tastes like apple pie. It's so good. And does it like flavor well together? Uh, I didn't eat them like together, um, but the chicken kind of tastes like turkey. So it's like Thanksgiving dinner with waffles. Nice. So that was super reasonably priced. I'm really like surprised. Yeah. And very reasonably priced. I mean, it was even with tip. It was under eighty dollars. Yeah. It was. Which, I mean, we looked at the prices for a before. Sit down we, restaurant and a theme park with good food. That's like amazing. Yeah. Can't go wrong. I mean, I would come here even if it wasn't in a theme park. And we and that was like. With a good tip. Yeah. <laughs> so it was good. If, if, if this was like at a different theme park, it would have cost probably twice as twice much. Twice as much, yeah. Yeah, they got the twister on the horizon and they do have a light up lights on the, the coaster. It is really raining out though. carousel where they encourage you to lean over and grab stuff you don't see ride that where they're like keep your hands outside of the ride <laughs> you don't get to keep the grass rings though you got to put them back after the ride
like one of the neat things about Knoebels is that it's right next to a campground. People come here and camp and then they go to the theme park. It's just such a beautiful, peaceful place. There's a picnic area where you can grill if you want to. Look at this, another flood levels. Holy cow, look at how high the water got here. 1972? And that's like, I'm like looking up. And I mentioned it before, there is a pay one price ride pass. I believe it is $47, but if you buy it the day before, it's 42. So you do have that option. Looks like the window's closed here. I go into the fudge kitchen. Cute little house here. All the good fudge here. Oh my goodness. And then all kinds of dipped pretzels. Ugh, yummy. Look at this. There you go. Parkour! Parkour! Goodbye, music box. We'll see you next time. Right, we're making our way out. What a fun day. Even though it was raining, there's still a lot to do. And the coasters still run in the rain, which is nice. Still so much that we haven't done. We haven't done... There's a train ride that goes around. There's the, obviously the other wooden roller coasters. And uh, a lot of other family rides are here. A lot of food. I'm like super excited about Knobles in the future. Well, that's going to do it for today. What a fun day. Had a great time making our way back to our car. New to our channel, like and subscribe. We appreciate the support. And uh, we'll be back hopefully in a couple, couple weeks or so. We'll see. Thank you for relaxing your own reality with us and I'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Comment below what your favorite ride is here. Oh yes, we should, we should engage with people. Comment below your favorite ride at Knobles, your favorite roller coaster. Which one should we check out next time we're here? Put that all in the comments. And uh, any closing thoughts? Did we miss any food? Yes, we're we are newbies to Knobles. So what did we miss? What do we need to try next time? Leave what, a comment below. What treats are the best? <laughs> we'll see you later. Thanks again for following along with us.